Let, let's talk about President Trump, Trump's temperament. Um, <laughs> you have said, I think he has an emptiness inside of him and a hunger for affirmation in him I've never seen in an adult, which sounds like a textbook <laughs> definition of a narcissist. Uh, after his comments following the white supremacy rally in Charlottesville, you said you believed he is morally unfit to be president. Has your opinion of President Trump changed for better or for worse in the last, say, year? It's gotten worse because I see more of the behavior that I think whether you're Republican or Democrat or Independent, you should care deeply about the erosion of the central norm of the United States of America, the truth, an attack on the rule of law that I've never imagined before. And so it's those, those attacks on our norms and our values have only gotten more serious and, sh and everybody should care about them, no matter where you are in the policy spectrum, because all we are in this country is a collection of values, and we lose those. Really? You're going to trade that for some position on taxes or immigration or anything else? You should never trade what is essentially America. Is there anything specifically you're particularly concerned about? when you look at his actions and his rhetoric? Well, those two. I think the central touchstone of American public life is the truth. We always measure our leaders by their tether to the truth. George W. Bush spoke falsely when he said there are weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. Barack Obama spoke falsely when he said, if you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor. And then both of those people spent the rest of their tenure and probably the rest of their lives explaining the tether to the touchstone. I didn't know that, I meant this, I understood this, because the touchstone is something they see. There's so much lying going on right now, there's a risk this is gonna melt like a sandcastle at the beach. And we will become numb to the fact that it is the center of the United States of America and stop judging our leader by the touchstone to this. That is deeply concerning and closely connected to the rule of law. I wake up probably once a week and the President of the United States has tweeted that I should be in jail. And I honestly laugh because I know there's, no, there's nothing to that. It's just him saying stuff. And then I stop and actually criticize myself and say, what are you doing? You're becoming numb to something that is profoundly threatening to the central norm of rule of law in this country. And I say to my, I used to be a Republican. I say to my former Republican colleagues, imagine Barack Obama wakes up in the morning and announces that so-and-so should be in jail. Your head would explode. And why would it explode? Because that norm, the rule of law in this country, lady justice with a blindfold, is all we are as a country. So I'm deeply concerned about all of us becoming numb to what's happening to us.